Welcome to Bratislava. Buckle in for the next two and a half hours. This building is going to be loud. Czech Republic and Latvia as they get set to meet on a Thursday evening here in Bratislava. There's your officiating crew. Olivier Guan of Canada, Jeremy Tufts of the United States, Dmitry Goliak of Belarus, and Brian Oliver of the United States, and Milos Riha in behind the bench for the Czech Republic. And there's Bob Hartley. Bob Hartley, the head coach of Latvia. And Latvia is trying to move up closer to the top teams in this pool. They suffered their tough defeat at the hands of the Swiss, but want to get right back to it. And this game should be full of emotion, physicality, and it's a pretty good day. defense as Elvis versus Lickens gets the start for Latvia, fresh off signing his one-year yes. contract with the Columbus Blue Jackets and maybe a starting spot available with that team coming up. And we'll go up against this Czech Republic. we has got quite a few NHLers. And another one just added, Radek Foxa from the Dallas Stars added to the Czech Republic today. And so he makes his tournament debut versus Latvia. Dominic Samoan of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Is there some, as we look at Patrick Bartoshak, quite a week for him. Became a father on Saturday, won a big game on Friday against Sweden. And there's Elvis Mislickens. As Mike mentioned, just off the new deal with the Columbus Blue Jackets. And this one about to get underway here. Is there some magic in Roddick Fox's stick like we've seen with Alexander Wenberg and Gabriel Landeskog? Table has been set. First shift, early production in your first game coming over mid-tournament. Jake Borchek up for Dominic Simone, and Simone will send this in. And offside call. To get a sense of the sound, the first offside call. Multiple whistles need to be blown as a Strength in numbers for the Czech fans, maybe strength in volume <laughs> and drum beats for the minority Latvians. Yeah, this will be a loud building for this one. Sabolskas on for Archer's Kulda. Off is sticking in, steered away by Bartoshak. And we get another whistle. This was knocked down with a high stick. Latvia defends hard, they skate well, they make it tough, and so you'll have to work, you'll have to dig in, which is fine with Radek Foxa. That's really the kind of player he has become in the NHL. Another decent year in Dallas, 15 goals, 30 points. Solid two-way guy, not super flashy, but you know what you're gonna get more often than not. And he takes the spot of Philip Hedl, who's not playing tonight. Correct. Philip Hedl is out for the Czech Republic, and Rodrigo Abel is once again out. Shot off that near side, Andre Palat. That didn't miss by much. Turned over and back up the ice. Long shot, and that is into the glove, and that will be held as Sotniex, the defenseman, jumps up. And a glove save made by Bartoshak. And you'll see a lot of Sotniex who will play upwards of 25 minutes or so for that if this game stays close. It's one of the Bukart's brothers. That's Robert Bukart. He scored uh, against Switzerland, or against Italy in their last game. And he's actually paired up with his other brother, Rehard Bukart, 14 and 71. And Maris Basevskis in between those two. Kept in at the line and only briefly gets sent back into the Latvian zone. Balinskis trying to tie it up along the boards. Buck ends up in behind the net, jammed around by Kubalik. Bukart's trying to bat this out. Rehards Bukart's, can't get it out. Quick shot from the high slot by Kubalik. Misses the net. In on the four check, Kovash, who gets in the middle of a lot of things. Oh. Out at center and a good hit. Good timing by Kolar, recognizing the cutback. Just stops and stands his ground. And Rehards Bukart's to the bench, appears to be all right. Gudis, the long lead pass. This goes on and off the skates of Heinick Zahorna. Freeberg's at center, gets it for Morenis. Morenis' shot gets blockered away. Played up the boards, no room, tight quarters in the Czech Republic zone. Gagaris plays it back at the line, and the slap shot from Sotniaks misses the net. Back for Sotniaks. 
Sends it into the corner. It gets away from Zarens. Out to the side of the net it comes on a scramble. Morenis throws this into the crease. And Radko Gudis there very quickly to go nose to nose with big Oscars back now. There'll be physical play in this game for sure. Cole Iyer getting it going for the Czech Republic standing up blue cards. Perfect timing, shoulder tuck, stayed on his feet. The guy hits we like to see, including his bench and his coaches. Yep, and some pat on the back for the backup net finder, Simon Rubitz. Two and one is the Czech Republic. Two and one is Latvia. Except the Czechs will play the Swedes and the Russians. The Latvians yet to do so. Off the face off, a shot never got through. Forward check will send this out to center no further. And back for it is Hronik. Sends it ahead. Oh, big hit in behind the play, and Blugers is going to get a penalty. Oh, Frolik still down. As Blugers lays out Michael Frolik well after the puck had gone. This could be five or a two and a ten for Blugers. Is that an interference? Frolik making his way off the ice. And that's one of the new rules, the language of a late hit. Oh, uh, yeah, for, uh, it's late interference, whatever you call it. But they changed and instituted a new rule for international play. You're not allowed to hit guys who don't have the puck. Right. Is the essence of it. And it's called late hit. And now that, that's the new rule, Bob. I'm sorry if you want to check the rule book. It was instituted, it's in the Ju World Juniors, it's international play. Whether it's a defenseless opponent or no longer in possession of the puck, that hit is not allowed to be made. I think Bob Hartley's trying to sell incidental contact. <laughs> Ginsmea shorthanded with the odd man rush, and that goes wide, and odd man rush right back in. Rippick and lets the shot go, and that's off a right pad of the netbinder, Merzlikens. Roddick fucks it with the nice feed. Kubalik will play this back for Jan Ruda. Cross ice for Ripik, and Ripik will drill it in. Elvis Merzlik is way out, and this gets stuck up in the mesh. And we'll get a stoppage in play. Ripik with a good chance early. Foxa after a quick break. Rolling puck goes high and wide. Darzins is playing back. He gets walked by Fox in the neutral zone, which makes two on one. Quick pass to Repic, and he is turned aside two, two inches higher, and that's probably over the pad. There's Wickets. Voracek tees it up in the slot. Blocker save made. Gagaris back for Latvia. Ronald Kennens, and Kennens gets dumped in behind the net. And Hronik right back up the ice for Michael Frolik, who is back out there. Frolik with Simone, Voracek, Kovash, and Hronik. Kovash spins it back for Hronik. He'll come near side, Voracek. Into the slot, Simone with the redirect. Kovash tracks it down. Sends it back for Hronik. Hronik back for Voracek. Voracek not in a shooting position. Plays it back for Hronik. And back for Voracek. Power play for the Czech Republic. Voracek tried to get that to the front of the net. That got blocked. Taken by Kovash for Froelich. In for Dominic Simone. Shot rebound. Froelich got a whack at it. Froelich back for Kovash. 12 seconds in the power play. And a cross ice pass intended for Voracek gets tipped away. Ronick takes a bump on the play from Kennens. So Latvia not backing down from the physical end of things either. Oh, they're jumping on the penalty kill, pushing up ice when they can. I like their penalty kill though, taking away the low plays. There's a shot by Andre Pilat off the side of the net. Latvia has now killed seven of eight penalties. They have not been shorthanded a lot. Sharp angle try, Merzlikens off Maracek. And Merzlikens will hang on to it. 
Micro full leak back out on the ice after the big hit that drew the power play. This shot's going way wide, gets up into the body of Foley. Quick skate to stick. And Merz Lincoln, reading it all the way, finds the puck right out of the body of Foley. That's really well done, cracking it by Merz Lincoln. As Michael Foley, a typically solid performance so far in the tournament. Czech Republic knows it has to, has to get its power play going. It is now one for 10 in this world championship. Backhander to the front of the net as Yaskin gets that through and a little more activity in front of the net and that shouldn't be a surprise because the two Zahornas are out there. And yeah, they're gonna take one though. Suckered in by Pesevskis as the pushing and shoving around the front of the net and they get the checks to escalate. As Lickens covers that one up and a little shove in the back of Heineck Soharna. Good for the goaltender to get out of there. Don't even worry about what's happening behind him because Thomas Soharna, in an undisciplined penalty, takes a rough, senseless rough, popping somebody in the face. Well, Milos Riha feels that there should have either been nothing two. or two. Yeah. Take both of them or take nobody. But the referee to slow it down early. Take one. Latvia power play three for 15 so far. Czech Republic on the penalty kill, eight for 10 for 80%. Garzic plays it back at the line, and Brasis sends it back for Sobolskis, the shot wide. Taken off the backboards, and Kolar will play it around the boards and down the ice. Quick up for Darzins. Darzins with a power play goal in this world championship. Sends it across, Bolsers, and another, another penalty one. coming. Wow. Moravchik is gonna go for tripping on Bolsers. And it'll be a lengthy five on three. Bolsers the stop up, it's another one of those can openers. Moravchik can't get his stick out of the legs fast enough. Gets it caught in between balls, and he tries to pull it out, but by then, balls is on his way down, and you're right. A minute 25, five on three. So you should have a plan. You have time to be patient. You don't have to force this one quickly. Next, you gotta find a way to get a puck down to the front of the net and attack the goal. And Latvia has the number one face-off man in this tournament, Blugers, and he wins another one. And they gain control off the face-off, Sobolskis. Set play coming down. up. Darzins sends it back. Bolsers, he'll play it cross ice. Ingrassus, back up top for Darzins. Back for Ingrassus, scores! One nothing power play goal. Latvia has the lead. That was great execution up top for Latvia. The interchange of players and the fluidity that they took each other's spots knew exactly what they were doing. Look at the rotation, three-man weave. Darzen gets up the one-timer, and that's a tremendous shot fake. Draws both Foxa and the goaltender, Bartoshak. Of course they think he's gonna shoot it. Kicks it right on the forehand, and Adrasis just has to get it above the pad of Bartoshak for the one-nothing lead. But that was a group of three guys up top that knew what they wanted to do. They ran a couple set plays looking for one-timers. They weren't there. They never got stagnant. Different looks for the penalty kill. Michael Frolik back in, a very good penalty killer. As the power play continues for Latvia, now it's a one-man advantage. And that goes back to that Zohorna undisciplined rough. Great to the secondary penalty as well. It's his team in a hole. Ball serves back in across for Blugers. Blugers pitches it to the backhand. Got stopped on the short side. Puck comes loose. Kept in at the line. Vesevskis took a spill, but he managed to get it down to Andrasis. Plays give and go with Blugers. Vesevskis goes cross ice. Darzins short side try. Andrasis with another wrister. Maybe didn't get all of that. And Bartoshak will hang on to it. Great work, though, creating the scene plays. 
Dargent to gets the primary assist on this. That is just a gorgeous pass. Sells the fake shot entirely. Barbashak down on his knees on the push. And the finish by Andrasis. And the two guys who combined for the goal are celebrating. Second of the championship for Andrasis, both coming on the power play. His eighth world championship. And if you're keeping total, that's the 200th goal of the tournament scored by Andrasis. We've seen plenty of offense in these games. Zierkaus plays it around the boards. Beliskas holds it in at the line. Wrist shot from the right side by Bukarts. Roberts Bukarts, that never got through. At the left point, this gets sent back down low by Belinskis. 15 seconds left in the power play. Garzins and Sobolskis with the assists on the goal by Andrasis. Blair down the ice. Maybe time for one last rush here by Latvia. Around for Rehards, Bukarts, he'll let it go. And Gagaris will settle it down. Power play is now over. So the Czech Republic escapes with just giving up one goal. Moravchuk out of the penalty box, takes his man to the backboards. Kovash taken into the boards in the corner. Radko Gudis plays that to the front of the net. Batted away, and here come Latvia. In across for Ronald Kennens. And Bartoshak makes a good save on the blast from Kennens. Archer's cool to back for it. Kennens will deflect it in and head to the bench on the change, but he deflected up and out of play. 1-0, Latvia on a power play goal by Andrasis. Well, it's a good start for Latvia. Start Perfect they were start. looking for. Yes. They're engaged. Draw some penalties, take advantage. Calm the crowd down a little bit, at least the Czech version of the crowd, get their crowd excited. Does the call against Zahorna change the way the Czech Republic maybe plays this game? Not the way they play, but it should change what they do after the whistle blows. Race down the left side, fax it to the back side, and that almost got tucked in. Back in on the attack to the front, Radek Faxa with a redirect. As Jakob Brana puts it there. Brana on a loose puck. Brana with Palat and Faxa. Backdoor play. And jumping in from the line, but it never did get to him, was Klinichka. Cleared but not out, kept in by Andre Palat. Sent around the boards, Fox is there, Fox up to the front, Palat turns, Palat couldn't get the shot, all sorts of traffic. Sotniex went down to block it. Back at the line for Skvanichka. In for Vrana, Vrana for Foxa. Foxa gets pressured there by Sotniex. Skvanichka jumps in from the line, holds it in. And now Sotniex will send it all the way around for Roberts, for Rehards, Bukarts. I almost wonder if Vlot didn't get away with a cross check that was let go because of the penalties called on the check are, checks already prior to that chance. He dumped Freeberg right in the front of the net. Dumped in by Balsers, grabbed off by Voracek. And Voracek will track this down back in his own zone. Plays it for Hronik. And Hronik will start up the ice. Sends it back, almost handcuffed Museal. And now a penalty coming, Ronald Kennens. 
is going to go for tripping, and the Czech Republic will go back to the power play. Penalty filled starts the game. Latvia has scored their goal on the power play. Czechs will get a chance to even things up on the power play themselves as Ronald Kenneth gets caught in the neutral zone. Trying to step inside. And, yeah. It's very tough playing defense moving forward. If you time it perfectly, it's a big hit or a turnover. If you don't, you're getting walked or taking a penalty. It's a high risk decision by Kenneth did not pay off. Bob Hartley is just working Jeremy Tufts, the referee. It's that cross check in front where Blot got the chance. He's very free, Bird. Here comes Voracek, dances his way in. Voracek into the slot. And the shot, and Godlewska's got a piece of it. Frolik knocks it loose for Dominic Simone. Simone trying to work it back to the blue line. Ronick quickly, partially intercepted, and it will come out. Good stick there by Blugers. Back in for Ronick. Ronick carries this wide. Ronick with a couple of goals in this tournament. Ronick plays this down low. Power play continues. Kovash for Frolik and back for Kovash. Has Dominic Simone in the slot. Plays it for Ronick to Voracek. Slap shot and a right pad save made by Goodlevskis. Back down low to Michael Frolik. Frolik will play this in behind the net. Dominic Simone didn't see it. And that allows Archer's cool to play it all the way down the ice. It's so rare that Jake Voracek shoots the puck. He's such a passer, it almost catches you by surprise when he finally elects to shoot. Even though, like most good players, he's got an above average shot to work with. This gets deflected in by Kubalik. And sent right back down the ice. Bluger's knocked it down, but he knocked it down with a high stick. And the play will come all the way back. Bluger's doesn't agree with the call by the linesman. Whereas Lickens is quick out of the net to clear the puck. And here's, the, here's what Bob Harley's upset about. Like, that's a penalty. I'm sorry, even if you had two in a row. And then when you get a chance out of it, that's a penalty as well. Now, you don't not call the first one because you missed the, you don't call the second one because you missed the first one, but Bob Hartley does have a case to be made. Off the boards and onto the stick of Kubalik. Kubalik out there now with, or rather Repnik out there now. Kubalik on the near side on this power play. And Kubalik was waiting for that pass from Foxa, never did get to him. Kubalik and Foxa, back in their junior days, Kitchener and Sudbury were traded for each other. And now together here in international competition, both being from the Czech Republic. Amazing how our paths cross time and again in the hockey world, yeah. and how small that hockey world is. You guys in the Czech Republic get traded for each other in junior a decade in, ago. In Canada. In Canada, no less. Knocked down by Askin, kept in at the left point. So Horner with the shot, that never got through. Power play about to expire, and now it's done. As Ronald Kennens comes out, it remains 1-0 Latvia. And another player gets dumped in the corner, play goes on. Yaskin heads to the front of the net, trying to screen Elvis Merz Lickens if there was a shot coming from the line, but there wasn't. And it's back for Archer's Kulda. Kulda will spin this in behind his own net. Sent up the boards by Guntas Galvins. In for Bukarts. Roberts Bukarts with the wrister wide. Rehards Bukarts gives chase, but it's carried down by Dominic Simone. Simone will drop it back. Brana, or rather Borchek, takes it wide. Gets it back to Simone. Shot to the short side. Save made and turned away by Merzlikens. Back for it in the lineup for the first game. Zamorski, the defenseman for the Czech Republic, and he's going to go to the penalty box.
Latvia leading 1-0 on the strength of a power play goal. And they head back to the power play as Peter Zaborski in his first game for the Czech Republic picks up a high sticky penalty on a good call by the referees. It looked initially like it was on the follow through of a backhand, and which would be a penalty, but it wasn't. He actually had stopped his follow through and then was hit and got a stick up on Rehard's blue carts. And there's some angst developing between the benches, which makes for a good game. Guys are chirping at each other all the way off the ice in front of the benches. Ravchuk gets it across for Jan Ruda. He'll send it all the way down the ice. That's the defense pair for the Czech Republic. The two Zahornas are up on the penalty kill. Heineck and Thomas. Darzens finds a lane, scores! Flores Darzens. Nothing Latvia. What a goal for the captain. Darzic going end to head. Picks up this broken play. Cuts the inside and then splits everybody. As Ruda gets all turned around. Ravchik is too wide. And Darzic undresses. Bardashak to the backhand. And what an individual effort. For Darjan to pick up his second point of the night. The best goals we've seen all tournament. Second goal of this tournament for the former Kelowna Rocket. And yes, an assist on the first one. And now he gets the goal. Both Latvia goals coming on the power play. Morenis in with the wrist shot. Blocked it away by Bardashak. Batka in behind the net for Latvia. Gets tied up with the puck around for David Musil. Musil will play this at center and then it gets chipped out and back into the Latvian zone. Sotniak turned it over to Foxa and then Sotniak gets it back. Up for Balsers. Out at center for Ronald Kennens. Kennens stopped by Radko Gudis. Vrana. Will head to the bench on the line change. Cannons comes in. Good go gets Goodis gets a piece of him, but Cannons kept on going, but he couldn't quite fit that puck down to the back side. And it gets cleared away. Goodis lead pass for Kubalik. And it gets taken by Balinskis for Cannons. Cannons to the line. Kovash steps into him. Big hit in the corner as good as ties his man up. And the puck controlled and cleared by Kolar. Up for Kovash. Kovash will drop into the slot. Kubalik ripped it over top the net. Blugers to center sends it in. And Sklenichka is back for it. He'll drop it off for Simone. Simone up for Foley. Through for the defenseman, Sklenichka, and back for Froelich. Froelich takes it wide against Sobolskis. Gets tied up. Cleared by Misevskis, and back out the center. And on it is Zamorski. For Simone, he lost it. And a chance for Misevskis, and this gets whistled down. 4.48 left to go in the opening period. Latvia with a 2-0 lead.
score between Finland and Denmark over in Procedure. Earlier today, Canada defeating France. And a 2 nothing lead for Latvia here. It feels like our pool here in Bratislava has been far more true to form and to the seedings than the pool over in Košice until this game. This has been a surprise so far. Latvia getting off to a very good start. Two power play goals. And them out to a 2 nothing lead. The Czech Republic talked about making its power play better. Penalty kill has been very good at 80%. And yet it's been the penalty kill that has kind of let them down. The one goal coming with a two-man advantage for Latvia. Thomas Zahorna. Oh, and Zahorna <laughs> takes a big hit from Batna. Here comes Andrasis. Andrasis carries in. And Jan Ruda will play this around for Zahorna. Zahorna bumps there with Gintzmea. And Moravchuk will play it back for Jan Ruda. Ahead for Heinek to Hornum. Trying to get that through for Yashkin. That failed to materialize. And here comes Darzins. And Darzins will get stopped inside the line by Radek Faxa. Faxa's pass almost picked off by Gintzmea. David Musil will drop it. Kronik ahead for Faxa. And offside on the near side. Jacob Brad, I think, lifted that back leg, and that's what put him offside. All right, you are, Dennis. And take a look at the work of Darzic. Great slap pass for the first goal. <laughs> I think Andrasis likes to score a big smile. And this one, just beautiful. The two defensemen are trusting the penalty kill forwards of the second one to drive the puck carrier to wide. When that didn't happen, Darzic just exploded through the middle in a beautiful finish for the goal. 34 years of age, the last 11 seasons have been in the KHL. The past six with Riga. Still scoring though, 44 points this year in 62 games with Riga. He can skate. And that's the way the game is going now. And that is a strong asset that he has. Bluger's trying to work it off the boards, can't. Brana. Had it and then lost it. And Blugers will just flip this up at center. Finally does come down to the ice surface. And chipped back by Andre Pilat, but Rana couldn't get a stick on it. And Ronald Kennens will send it all the way back in. Under three to go, and this is gonna be an icing call against Latvia. The amount of noise in this building makes this game feel frenetic. It feels kind of out of control and, and, and quick and hurried. And, and I think the way Lappy is checking, that, that's good for them. They're not giving up any time or space. They're closing out hard, they're physical. A lot of things that the Czechs do well are having done to them. As the referees congregate, discuss that, I think it was a bit of a missed call there, so they'll reset and drop it at center. Yep, four officials getting together and making the decision. Kovac, Kubalik, and Ripik out for the Czech Republic. But the faceoff is won by Batna, or rather by Belinskis, and he'll start off, drops it back. Good does Galvins, sends it up at center. Bukarts will deflect it in. Three hards, Bukarts in on the four check, played up the boards. And sent ahead by Ripik. After it is Kubalik. Kubalik spins, fires to the short side, and Elvis Merzlikens makes the save. Kovac jumps on the loose puck. In for Kubalik, Merzlikens, big save. And it was loose for a second. Kept it at the line by Gudis, the shot. And hit a body in front. Kubalik trying to muscle his way to the front, couldn't. And an icing call now against Latvia. Good shift, Kubalik gets it all going. He's calling for the long stretch pass to beat up the icing, then he drops back. Gets a lot on this one, that's a good save for Lickens. Feels it rolling between his legs. He sweeps the back leg out from under to make sure he doesn't knock it into his own net, but back out in front, you'll get a better look at it here. He feels it back there, so he slides his right leg out and under, making sure it doesn't go in. Rehards, Bukarts plays this down the ice. That'll allow Latvia to get the change in. And Ruta back for it. He'll drop it with some speed as Borachek, but he lost control of it. 
at the Latvian blue line. Moravchuk back up the middle. Springs Voracek. Voracek with the slapper and he shot it wide. Kept in by Jan Ruda. Down for Simone. In for Froelink. Michael Froelink back for Jan Ruda. Cross for Moravchuk. Moravchuk sends it to the ice off a leg and wide. And Simolskis will send it ahead for Gitzmea. They have got tied up there by Moravchuk. It was pretty important that Latvia gets out of this period up too. The Czechs are making a push late. 120 left to go here in the opening frame. And Hironik in behind his own net. Hironik of the Detroit Red Wings. Ahead for Musil, and this will bounce in on Berslikens. Freebergs takes a bump, sends it to the line, but not out. Musil held it in briefly, and Morenis will send it back. And a slap right back out. They wave off icing. Sotniex going back for it. Gaskin in on him. And it's cleared. And Gagaris will spin it up the boards. And Radko Gudis will take it for the Czech Republic. Gudis for Kolar and back for Radko Gudis. Up for Vrana and back for Kolar. Got away from him. No room for Tennant. In across the line. And the snapshot by Vrana. Save made by Merzlikens, and now we've got more activity as there was some contact with Merzlikens. They took just one earlier in the game, and I'm not sure they're gonna take any in this case. Verona wheels, fires, Buck bobbled around in the air, eventually Merzlikens jumps on it. Palat's the one who takes the first crack at it, he can blame him, as the puck has just been covered up. And Sabalski comes in. It's not that one. It's um, and, and that's what he's got a great point. Yes. You gave us a penalty for that. Why not them? All coaches and players want is consistency. Whatever you're gonna call, call it. We'll adjust. Just be consistent. And that's what started the trouble for Czech Republic because the Horner went off for roughing and then Moravchik went off for tripping and they were down two men. Repping. Works it up in the high slot, leaves it for Moravchik. Moravchik goes back for Repik and a good stick there by Ronald Kennens. Repik does fire it, but he shot it wide. Jan Ruda in from the line. And now tripped up on the play as Kola takes the feet out from under Kovash. And Kovash is looking back at the referee, but there will not be a penalty coming in the first period it comes to an end. Latvia taking advantage of their opportunities that they earned. Two power play goals and the captain, Darzic, involved in both for the great period. Great pass on the first one. And then he scores the second one on a great individual play and neither coach is happy.
Elvis Merzlikens busy and good in that opening period for Latvia. And Latvia with the 2-0 lead with a couple power play markers. Latvia the better face-off team, not a surprise. And Theodore Blugers has now taken 96 face-offs in this his fourth game of the championship. He's won 75, which is 78%. What a luxury that is. Oh. Anytime you're in trouble, you trust that he's going to get it done short-handed on the power play when it really matters. And he played 721 of the opening period. The only player for Latvia that played more was Oscar Sabolskis, who was at 838 in that opening 20 minutes. 22-minute pace for a forward. That is that's a handful. Czech Republic had a good finish to the period, but couldn't find a goal. Back in on the attack, Ronald Kennens has a stick lifted. Buck around the boards, Ronick will hustle and hold it in. Down for four, check back for Ronick. And the blast, and that goes off somebody in the front. Helmet. I don't think. No, I think it got Mers Lickens right in the head. Uh, one time out, outside, oh, he reached yes. for it. Hashik like, who I think was the first one to intentionally add a puck out of the way, and that is on purpose. He's looking to deflect that one up and out with the mask, which tells you how good the masks are that they're choosing to get hit there. That'll get the people in Columbus fired up next year if he does that. Can't wait for Bobrovsky to sign somewhere else. <laughs> for every guy leaving, there's another opportunity for somebody else. Exactly. Borovchuk back in his own zone for the Czech Republic, pressured by Big Andrasis. Back to the blue line, or the left circle. And the shot in by Belinskis or Freebergs, and that got gloved and held. Important for Latvia to continue to push forward smartly. They got to where they were by skating, by attacking, and being aggressive. And they can't just sit back now because they're winning 2 0 and think that they will defend for the next 39 minutes. They just keep playing the same way, which is defense first, but you have to keep getting up in the offensive zone and, and trying to generate more. Lugers, Balsers, Freebirds, and Sotniks all average over 20 minutes a game for Latvia. Bob Hartley relies on those four a lot. Face-off win. Bukarts plays this in behind the net center. Rehards, Bukarts corrals this on the far side, plays it in behind the net. Grabbed off and Ripik will control for the Czech Republic. He'll drop it back. Kolar long lead pass back for Ripik and there's a headshot. This is coming to Bisevskis. I mean Ripik is shots to the header, there's zero tolerance. And, and that's just it. I mean Bisevskis finishes the hit with like a hip check as Ripik is way bent over. And he absolutely squishes his head against the boards. But watch where Ripik's head is when he hits him. It's down on the dasher. Yes. So that's one of those ones where it's not a dirty hit at all. It's just a hit you can't make. And you know, if he's standing upright, he's fine, but the, he's way down low. Elbows are tucked in, he's on the ice, but you can't, you can't make that kind of head contact. They just put the pressure on the hitter to make sure that they don't do it. Even though the guy's falling, even though he's put himself in an awkward spot, that's on Brzezewskis to not make that hit. And we'll see what, if it's just a two or more, as it looks like they're over the gate, his night might be over, or the two and 10. It's just a hit to the head from Jeremy Tufts from the USA. So they'll have to send someone over to the penalty box to serve the minor, and it is a major penalty. And Bob Hartley will not like that. And he's been on the referees all night long, even though his team has scored two power play goals. It is a hit to the head. And I, I see you kind of no, I... struggling with the call because you understand Vesevskis, he's out of the game. We're hitting a guy who is bent over, whose head is at his hip height, who has the puck on his stick moments before he's hitting him. So it's not late, it's not interference. It's just one of those once defenseless player 
in a vulnerable spot, can't make contact ahead. It's different than the NHL. Did he have time to hold up? Yep, he did. So that's the answer to the question that I had running around in my head. Not a lot of time. Yep. And you're, you're not thinking about holding up. You're thinking about going to hit this guy. And then he tipped over on you. Rolling for Voracek. Voracek is the Czech Republic now with a great opportunity to cut into this 2-0 lead for Latvia. Voracek being watched. And we have a crease violation. And that's going to bring the face off outside the line. Michael Frolik, the guilty party. Elvis versus Lickens gets set to have a busy few minutes, four and a half minutes left in the power play. There's Rihas. Both coaches were not happy with the referees oh. at the end of that first period. Just giving it to them. Rihas stayed on the bench after his entire team had left because he wanted a little bit more. Bob Hartley was almost out on the ice. So it's been an emotional game so far. Andre Pilat back for Vrana. Vrana sends it back for Pilat. At the line, Jan Ruda. Down for Andre Pilat. And Pilat had moved to the middle of the ice, expecting the pass from Pilat on the forehand. Pilat went to the backhand, and as a result, there was no one at the left point. Well, if you think the power play was an issue before, if they don't get something done in these five minutes, it'll really be a talking point for the Czechs. Foxa and Freeberg after it. Foxa in his first game, and from the Dallas Stars. Kept in at the line, down for Foxa, jams it in front, Pilat! And that got turned aside. Jan Ruda dishes it off, Kubalik the shot, and that got blocked. Sobolskis went down in front of it, and it's cleared. That's four guys being committed to try to keep the puck out of the net. Blocking shots, diving down, trying to support in and around the net as Merflickens, I think, took another one in the head. Bronick with some speed for Dominic Simone. Into the slot it goes, Kovash. Four check on loads, and that went wide. Kovash tracks it down. Down for Michael Frolik, and back for Kovash. Bronick looks for Voracek. In front, big save. Elvis Merflickens with the right pad. Kept in at the line. Bronick walks it in and can't get the shot through. Gets it for Voracek. Voracek plays for Dominic Simone. Simone for Kovash. Kovash watched by Darzens. Kovash goes cross ice. Voracek back to Darzens. And the shot, or back to the near side for Kovash. And the save made by Merzlikens. Back for Voracek, for Ronak, for Kovash. Kovash for Voracek, walks it in, looking for a stick in front. Ronak, back for Voracek, another save by Merzlikens. Kovash, Ronak unload, shot it high and wide. Voracek, back for Kovash. Kovash for Voracek, in front of the net for Foley, deflected away. Kovash on it again. Into the slot, tipped away. Good stick there by Bluegers. And Merzlikens has a helmet issue. And he pops his helmet off. His head had been hit previously. And fighting through the strap. What a sequence of chances. Cox on the short side. He's battling. Everyone collapses down. Better save on Pro League. That is fantastic. Right leg flashing out. He goes through these seams. Kovash got to raise that puck a little bit. Tough shot to do, but to give himself a better chance. And the strapping on the back of Merzlikens. Helmet needs some help. He's asking for a new plastic clip on the back of his helmet. So the referee, and I wonder if the metal button is trapped inside. The metal button popped off the helmet because that strap looked to be in place. Lewis Riha demanding an explanation as to why, after playing with his helmet, he can just take it off. Now, in his defense, he took it off after the puck had been cleared. It's not like they were under duress. Yes. And a little bump there by Pro League. They let that one go. He's looking to see something wrong. He's asking for it here. Something's happened with his helmet. He's trying to get a call. And eventually he gets the attention of 
Olivier Jouin from Canada. And at this point, it's not a big deal. Lavi had their line change yeah. in. There's no reason to get too upset. He wasn't getting a major advantage. He had a fresh guys out there. He wasn't tired. Capo Kako has scored his sixth of the championship and a 1-1 tie between Denmark and Finland. Oh, you see the plastic clip being broke. Never so much pressure as on the trainers right there. Everyone's waiting for you to slide the strap out and in, get a clip back on and back to work. As Latvia has survived the first three minutes and two seconds of this five-minute major. So the advantage for the Czech Republic is they get to keep their some of their power play people out there. Ruda stays out there. Shot at front score! Or was it in? No. They're Referee Repic. is signaling no goal. Re Repic shot it. He's right on top of the net. Did he just assume that was going in? What a play here by Fox. It drives wide. We'll take a look. Oh my goodness, it went through his legs. Caught, caught the back heel of his right foot. Watch his right foot. Oh! oh. That's why Rebic thought it went in. He and can't believe that, it. There's the, the spin. The underside rollout. Merzlikin saying, no way, I got gotcha. you. Oh my goodness. Once you get it through the legs, you assume it's gonna find the back of the net. No, 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 apparently not. Repic thought he had it. And uh, wow. jumping has started in the stands. And they'll take a quick look at this. It won't take long. No. Jeremy Tuff from the States. That was a great overhead look. That was a lucky save, not much skill, but also the, the recognition of feeling and to rotate out to not knock it in his own. That's not the one that's going to show you anything. It's the overhead. That will let the referees know very quickly that did not go in. This one right here. Oh. And so goalie skates are cut with a lower calf section than others. And that almost looked like it hit the top of that boot. After video review, there's no goal in the play. For a player, that probably hits on the smooth part and rolls in the net. For a goalie, it almost caught the ridge that sits on top of the Achilles and stayed out. Wow. 141 left in the major penalty. And the power play continues for the Czech Republic. Latvia up 2-0 with two first period power play goals. And another face-off win by you-know-who. And he gets cleared down the ice. Czechs can't be disappointed with the execution no. of this power play. Maybe with the results, but not the execution. And across for Foxa for Rana. Rana sends this cross ice Kubalik to the front of the net. And that's deflected away. Taken by Repic. He thought he had one. Kubalik, Jan Ruda, and Elvis Merzlikens takes that in the midsection, and there is no rebound. No screen for that shot makes it an easy save. Seems like a good idea. You're teeing it up as it flows from right to left. But with nobody around the front of the net, no threat of a tip except the flashing stick of Foxa. That's an easy look for Merzlikens. You want to shoot the puck. You want to have a shot mentality. But you also have to not waste them if there's nobody around the front of the net unless you're Ryan A. or Ovechkin or Shea Weber. Jan Ruda and Vrana each had nine shots on goal coming into this game to lead the Czech Republic in that department. Power play continues. Kovash lets the shot go. It never got through. Kronik across for Voracek. Was it in the wheelhouse? Back to Ronick scores! The first one wasn't in the wheelhouse. The second one was. And Ronick with his third of the championship rips this up top blocker side and the Czech Republic on the board and they will stay on the power play. Oh, what a rocket by Bronick. Puck's a little bit in front of him. So he gets onto the ice early and then gets the high riser. 
That hits Ooh. Merzlikens in the head, not Frolik, I think. Catches Merzlikens and goes in. And Hironik wants the puck all the time. He's slapping his stick on the ice for the puck the entire power play. Bob Hartley wants a high stick. I don't think Frolik even touched it. I think that's all Hironik, straight shot. And even if Frolik did get it, it would have been below the crossbar. Two one Latvia. Still in the power play. That has not come out of the box. 40 seconds. Voracek in full flight hits the line. Voracek drops it back. In front, Dominic Simone. What a chance. Kept in by Frolik. What a rush by Voracek. Kovash, Frolik, Voracek, Ronick unloads on another one, and that one was blocked by Ginsmeyer. And this will get shoveled ahead, and Gagaris will play it the rest of the way down the ice. Kovash on it, maybe time for one last rush. Back for Hronik. What a chance for Dominic Simone. And now out of the box is Zirkals, who was in serving the major. But Maris Pesevskis is gone for the game. The major for the headshot on Repik. A 2-1 game, and this gets past Archer's Kulda and down the ice. Radko Gudis. Long rink-wide pass, misfires. Zahorna after it. Zahorna takes a bump from Gint from Gunta's Galvin, stays with it. And now grabbed off and Ronald Kennens, but Kennens turned it over. But Heinrich Zahorna couldn't control it, and another penalty now. And goodness, Galvin's had to be careful with that one in front of his net that was empty. <laughs> Tripping penalty to the Czech Republic. Latvia with the lead. All the goals in this game coming on a power play. And now Thomas Zahorna back to the penalty box for the Czech Republic on a tripping call. Almost like a slew foot, but it was the upper body motion and not a lot of kicking with the foot. Latvia can settle things down at least for a couple minutes. Being on their heels that entire five minute major against. Darzins plays it back for Freebergs and back for Darzins into the slot for Blugers, cross ice for Ingrassus. Ingrassus watched by Yashkin, in for Darzins, his shot, that got blocked. Back to the line for Freebergs. Darzins cross ice off a skate, and this will get clear down the ice. Good block on that one slap shot as Polar got the left skate out to block it. Balsers in Grasses had got away from him, and Jan Ruda will send it back down the ice. There's Lickens out to play it, and it ends up on the stick of Freebergs, and on for Roberts Bukarts. Back for Freebergs, and the power play gets going. Kennens puts on the brakes, plays it back at the line for Sobolskis. He'll play give and go with Zirkals. To Zirkals, dishes off. Roberts Bukarts back to Sobolskis. Watched by Michael Froley. 
Back for Bukarts. Blocked by Maratchuk, the defenseman who followed him all the way up to the line. And now Frolik will backhand it down the ice. Roberts, Bukarts on for Rehards. Bukarts winds his way in, lost control of it, and shot down the ice by Musil. Back in across the line for Kennens, and that shot is off a stick and up to the netting it goes. At the very least for Latvia, this power play can settle things down, get their offensive guys back out there, get a couple touches, and right now it feels like an avalanche of check players coming down every shift. Slow down that wave, get this game back under control because the checks are taking over. Last uh, few minutes of the first, and certainly the first half of the second. Third of the tournament for Hronik. Now the line's been having a chat with Lugers. Kovacs is the best face-off man for the Czech Republic, and he wins this one. A big face-off win, and it's around for Dominic Simone. That last chance Simone had looked like it went off the helmet of Merzlikens. In across the line, Bluger's trying to drive that to the net. Blocked in front and cleared and down in behind the play. Andrasis. In across the line, and Drassus is down. Voracek, Simone, rebound at the empty oh. net hole. Off the shaft of a stick. So Horna had the open net. <laughs> Sondiex might have got that one. Oh my goodness. Bluger's <laughs> sets this out to center no further. Radko Gudis. Three back at center for Kolar. Cross for Gudis. He'll come rink wide for Borachek. Borachek will send this deep. Radek Fox is after it. Freebergs bumps him. Foxa comes up with it. Lays it into the corner. 2 1 in favor of Latvia. Bouncing puck and Frolik trying to get it deep and it bounces away. Frolik with Gagaris after him, and Gagaris comes up with it. Latvia starting a change around for Archer's Kulda. And finally taken by Gudis. He'll flip it up the boards. Cannons couldn't hold it in, and the pass for Frolik was intercepted. Brana plays it back for Radko Gudis. Gudis gets across center, chips a backhander in. Kovash is after it. Andre Palat worked it to the corner, but Kennens is there. To the line, but not out. Sent back, score! Zamorski, the shot from the line. And the Czech Republic has tied this up 2 2. Jan Kovash will get his second of the championship. Broken plays all around. There's the high stick. Oh, yeah, it drastic. Now, that's a massive jump, but he got clipped in the face. Missed call there. Here's a crazy block. Sotnix right in the back of an empty net, but the checks would not be denied as Kovash takes a little drop pass. Drag pole posted across. Did that one go in? And that's Bob Hartley, I think, talking about the high stick more than the goal against, as he was livid. This period has had a bit of everything. Oh. Remember the days when they said international hockey wasn't emotional? No, I have no recollection oh. of that moment. This has been wild. Kubalik steals. Kubalik lets the shot go, and Balinsk has got back to get a shot or a stick in front of that. Kubalik again, and off the skate to the corner. Look at the check. There's another head save. That's his fifth time. Whereas Lickens has intentionally headed a puck. Sometimes fast, sometimes hard. No wonder his helmet's always breaking. Good as Galvin's decked in the corner by Kubalik. Kubalik tried to come cross ice and rehards. Bukards breaks it up. 2 2 tie in a game that has had a little bit of everything. Zohorn of the lead pass. Yaskin is after it. And this is going to be called. 
And the Czech fans will not like that. Dmitry Yaskin does not like that. Whew. You got to take a breath. As Kovac has even things up now at two. On both benches, you want to still maintain this level of emotion. But from the coaches who have kind of both been a little bit out of control this game, yelling at the referees, to the benches, barking at each other and at the refs and everything else, someone's got to bring the temperature down a little bit on your bench without taking any emotion away. Just stay under control because it's getting close to getting out of there. A clearing attempt that didn't have enough on it. And Zamorski just flipped it in from the line and Kovacs buries it. Now we've got some more activity going on and we're going to get some penalties. Ruta looking like the only one. We'll sort it out when we come back to Bratislava. A terrific atmosphere in this building. Jan Ruda to the penalty box. Voracek, the captain of the Czech Republic, over to have a chat with the two referees. Luger's in there as well. I think the referees also can recognize the cauldron that is percolating right now. Fifth power play of the game for Latvia. Both Latvia's goals coming on the power play. The first one with a two-man advantage. Freebergs, Blugers, Darzens, back for Freebergs. Cross ice, it goes for Andrasis. Bolsers, Darzens up top for Freebergs, doesn't shoot it. Now he does, and the save made by Bartoshak, who has not been as busy as his counterpart, Elvis Merzlikens. Bouncer back to the line, but kept in Darzens. In for Blugers. Blugers in front of the net. And Bolsers tried to get to the forehand. And the Czech Republic fans react to that as Zahorna got dumped. Darzens trying to wind his way in, and he got dumped. Freebergs, Indrasis, save made. And it comes all the way around the boards and down the ice. Fifty-five seconds left in the man advantage. And a 2-2 tie. Rehard Bukart trying to go wide. Does backhander. Stays on it. Gintz Maya. Back for Rehard's Bukarts. Back for Maya. He'll let it go to Roberts Bukarts. Watched by Yashkin. Sabolskis. Rehard's Bukarts. The blast that went wide. Tracked down by Roberts Bukarts. Sobolskis, Rehards Bukarts, Roberts Bukarts, the shot, and that's deflected wide. Rehards for Roberts. Forced to the corner by Radic Foxa. Up top, Sobolskis lets the shot go save made. Rebound there for a second. And then David Musil cleaning house in front of the net on Gintz Maya. High riser drops. They are right there. You tell me that's a cross check after the whistle. Looks like one here. Nice chance by Balser's walking in. Good right pad save. Uh, Bronco Shack. He's ha not had much to do with this period so far. This team has clawed back to 
even things up. Rudolph Balsers, who has been the puck distributor for the first few games for Latvia, hasn't had it on his stick enough in this game for Latvia. Six points coming into this game for Balsers. Power play is over, and Jan Ruda will scamper over to the bench. Kovash will play it around for Repik, and Repik will send it on. Kubala giving chase. Merzlikens comes out and plays it. Darzens carries in, floats to the right side. Darzens for Blugers. Try to get it back to the line for Sotnik. Or Splanichka breaks it up. And here comes Kovash. Kovash watched by Andrasis. A backhander to that far side by Repik. Merzlikens didn't see it, but it went wide. Off the backboard to the left point. Kept in by Sotniks. Or rather by Morakchuk. And now it bounces out at center. And Dominic Simone is on it. Simone takes it wide. Simone Rister to the short side. And Merzlikens makes the save and hangs on. 2-2 two, two, tied. Five to go in the second. These countries well represented in this building. Maybe a few more Czech Republic fans. This has been fun. This oh. has been a fun game so far. 25 minutes left in it or more. We haven't had an overtime game no. yet in our pool. Kept in at the blue line by Musil. Tried to stuff it back down low, and this goes off a leg or a stick and ends up in the. Czech Republic bench. Yeah, and Kovac, the most recent goal scorer. Here you're going to look. Oh, uh, it was middle bar and then back out and around as the Czech bench celebrates. And for about seven minutes there, the Czech bench looked like 10 year olds. They were all standing the entire game, which <laughs> you're not generally required to do. But they were feeling it through the power play and the comeback as they had all the momentum. Czech Republic wants to be considered at the same level as the teams above them. Latvia wants to be considered with the teams above them. And as a result, you've got a very intense match here. At the line, Hronik the shot. That got blocked. Rebound board check. Down you seal with the redirect, and that got turned aside by Merzlikens. Balsers up with it. Balsers went down in the corner. Sabolskis will regroup. Plays it for Archers. Kulda to the line, but not out. Kept in by the Czech Republic, and now a cross-ice pass intended for Musil, picked off by Kennens. Long wrist shot turned away by Bartoshak. Kennens gets worked over in the corner by Hronik. And a centering pass all the way back into the neutral zone, Sotniks over for Blugers, and he'll send it in, and then Blugers will hustle to the bench as Latvia starts to change. Under four to go, second period in a 2-2 tie. Dennis Bayak, Mike Johnson, our TSN crew here in Bratislava. Rehards, Pukarts with the wrister, that went high and wide. Freebergs in for Roberts, Pukarts. His cross-ice pass, he was looking for Batten, and that got picked off. Radic Foxa chips it in one-handed deep and goes in after it. Chipped away from Brana. Barakchuk is in from the line. And now Palat with the shot. 
But the net behind Elvis Merzlikens is off the pegs. Batten is on the ground. Not yet getting up. Seems to be all right. He's knocking that net as it came off. It's boring. Oh, no. The self. Oh, look at that flex. Oh, man. Uh, the self butt end. One of the worst feelings. We can't breathe. And he knows it. Oh, oh man. I have done that. Getting behind the net, staring at a pass out front, right on the side, and you impale yourself with your own butt end. It is an awful feeling. First world championship for the 24-year-old. Plays in the KHL 6'4", 196. There's some size to that man. Kovash went to the left hand, took that draw as a left-hander. Gets Maya, trying to chase a loose puck down. Dan Ruda will give chase on the far side, kept in. And Barkashak makes the glove save on the shot from Sabolskis. And now a little more pushing and shoving in front of the net between Andrasis and Sotniak. Everyone seems to be keeping their sticks down though now. Not wanting to pick up the minor. Two times the referees have pulled just one player out of the pile. So, coaches, benches, captains have all received the message. Czech Republic one for four. When you score on the major, another power play kicks in. And the Latvian team is two for six. Is that how it works? So if you have a five in the major five. and you get two goals, it's two for two? Yes. Learn something new every day. I did not know that. Thank you, Dennis. I hope I'm right. <laughs> Face off will be to the right of Bartoshak. 3.10 left to go, second period. Each team at two and one in this tournament. Balsers. Freeberg's at the line. Slips it back for Balsers. Balsers had to get away from him. Good recovery, though, by Balsers. Takes a bump from Zahorna. And now it's on for Dimitri Yaskin. Yaskin takes it wide. Yaskin puts on the brakes. Gets the checking of Belinskis. And Freeberg's is on it. Up the board. Stopped at the line by Radko Gudis. And Merzlikens will glove that and hang on to it. Big Dimitri Yaskin always seems to be involved when he's playing well in a little bit of pushing and the shoving, a little edge to his game, which you don't see probably for his club teams as often as they'd like in the NHL. But he's got that frame to, to get involved physically. He plays his best when he's doing it. Sabolskis puts this up the boards. Gets away from Jake Voracek, and Gronick will take this back into his own end. Up for Dominic Simone. Simone drops it back for Voracek. Rister scores! Jake Voracek. His first of the championship. And for the first time tonight, the Czech Republic has the lead. And it comes with 2.22 left in the second. Jake Voracek brought his shooting stick to this game because he's put a whole bunch of pucks towards the net. Simone pushes cool to back, drop, and drag through the stick. And Merzlik, it's got to squeeze that one. Voracek loves it. But from that distance, yes, it's through the legs, just above the pad. Can't get the glove down to the pad. The squeeze on top as Voracek, four shots on net. He's got to have at least another three, four missed. And that is a week's worth of attempts for a pass-first guy. Recognize the game where he's got to shoot the puck and do a really good job of it, giving his team the lead. 
are Gritty and Jake Voracek the same person? There's no doubt that Gritty is based off Jake Voracek. That is a given. I agree. There's a lot of similarities. He celebrated that goal. 3-2 Czech Republic. Voracek. And they're jumping now. We mentioned this the other day. When you're jumping, if you're if you're not jumping, you're not checked. And they're jumping. And they're checked. Kolar. Rana. Rana plays it down low. Foxa was in front. Palat couldn't get it to him. Radko good is the shot. Foxa battles for it. Score! Jacob Rana. What a pull from Jacob Brana. He beats his man off the wall as Baxter does a great job tying it up, but that is a deft, full speed toe drag out of the feet of the Latvian defender. Check this out. Oh, in stride all the way across where Lickens sprawled out and he tucks it in the open side to make it 4-2. What an electric period this has been for the Czech Republic. Their big guys coming through. What a play by Foxa in front of the net to tie up his man. One on one battles, yes. right? Brano wins the race off the wall. Foxa battling in front of the net. But the toe drag, you're right, the toe drag out of the skates. Very impressive. Kubalik has lost his sticker, it breaks. Cleared in into the final minute now, a four goal. Second period for the Czech Republic. It all got started with the five minute major to Maris Pasevskis. Blugers trying to work it up front. Ponick knocks it away. Latvia trying to cut into this lead before the second period ends. Gulda to center no further as Repik breaks it up. Kennens. Lifts a backhander that Bartoshak will watch bounce wide. David Musil ties it up. Gets it for Dominic Simone, who has had a terrific game. Back for Hronik. Hronik will take it all the way back. Almost got tangled up with the referee. And just giving it to him. Telling him to get out of the way. Hronik was trying to kill the period, and now Hronik is going to take a hit. Play better from watch Morales. himself. He's right into the face of Jeremy Tufts. Wow. Back and this forth. is hockey, folks. Game. Emotional, physical, lots of goals as the Czech Republic has fought back. And the power play helped them in that period. Hasn't helped them all tournament long, but it came through when they, they, they needed it. Radko Gudis now over to have a chat with the official from Canada. Czech Republic four, Latvia two, two periods done.
set. Third period about to get going. Patrick Bartoshak not that busy in the second period. He has faced 19 shots. And Elvis Merzlikens was busy in that second period. And he's allowed four on 28. Well, Latvia has to get back on their front foot. As they were on their heels, a five minute major really hurt their momentum. Check started playing with pace, playing with confidence, and rolled to their four goals in the second period. Four goals in 12 minutes and 59 seconds for the Czech Republic in that second period. To go from 0-2 to 4-2. Sharp angle, try, save, Mapers, Lickens, loose puck, Kennens on for Blugers. Bluger's trying to get that through, but Balsers was way in ahead of the play. And play gets whistled down. Take a look at the action that happened for the Czechs in the second period. Ronick on a one-timer on the power play, gets him going. Then a quick wrister by Kovash. Four checks through the legs. Those against can't squeeze it. And then one more, and a beauty that it was for Cabrana later in the period to cap off a wild Second period for Milo Riha's team. And he looks a little calmer now than he did at the end of the first. And he was marking at the refs as refs and penalties have been an issue for both benches tonight. It has been an intense game. We expected that it was going to be, and it's been as advertised. Ginsbaya in with a bump. Long lead pass up to center. Radek Foxa in his first game plays it to the front of the net. Vrana is on it in for Foxa, and he got tied up there with Ginsmea. Indrasis plays it for Freebergs, trying to get it back to Indrasis, and Andre Palat on the back track takes it away. Palat will send it in. And it's cleared off the boards and out at center ice. Shot to the short side, turned away. Kristaps Zyl on the ice. That may be one of his few shifts in this game. In across the line, backhander. Nice rush there. 
by Rehards Bukarts. See how referee Jeremy Tufts is doing right now. He got clipped with a skate up in his leg, and he is gipping around, holding it a little bit. Let's see what happens with the next whistle. We want to take a look at that. Sharp angle try, turned aside. Back to the blue line for David Museo, and he blasts one wide. Ronick, who has a goal in this game, dishes it off. Yaskin back at the line, Museo down low, and Ronick unloads from a sharp angle, and a save made by Ingers Lickens. Bukart with a nice rush, slide it through the triangle, slip past Budas, and then that's a good backhand under duress. Just catches the shoulder of Bartoshak. Good release right from the heel of the blade, roll it all the way to the toe to get the elevation. Not easy to do when a guy's hanging off your hip. Last time these two teams played was 2016. And the Czech Republic beat Latvia in a shootout. Czech has won the last five games between these two as Balsers with another opportunity. David Musil has slid up the lineup in tonight's game. Playing with Ronick for much of the five on five play. And there's our man, Teddy Blugers, 74% in the face off circle. And that's not. 14 out of 20, 15 out of 20 in a one game, or that's right. Tournament long against other good players. Shot from the line by Sotniaks. Turned aside by Bartoshak. Sotniaks holds it in on the backhand, lifes it down low. Bruto plays it around, and Voracek waits for it. Voracek trying to slip a backhander across for Moravchik. And grabbed off in Bolsers, trying to get that for Blugers. Comes out at center, and Moravchuk will play this back up for Michael Froelich. Near side, Ruta for Moravchuk, and back for Moravchuk. Up for Froelich, gets chased back by Andrasis. They'll try it all over again, Ruta for Voracek. Jake Voracek has been really good tonight. Skating better. Like every player, when you skate, then your skills can shine. He's moving tonight. This whole line is skating better yeah. with Frolik and Simon. Up the ice for Radko Gudis. He'll hit the red line, send it in. Merz looking, steers out of way. Big hit in behind the net is Andre Palat. Got crunched there by Archer's cool to Savolskis for Andrasis. In across for Darzins, and it was in a little tight. Radko Gudis went down to try and break it up. Andras is tied up with Kolar, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Missed the opportunity there. As Blugers again. Just quicker to it, second effort on Simon. Sotnik's tees are up. Barbershack turns to the side, but there's so many different ways to win a faceoff. There is just a quick swipe, like Sidney Crosby does. You can dig in with a stick and use your skates. You can just try to power on the backhand with the with your bottom hand over and just rip through. And when you're going at 75%, you got all those different ways of working. Kovash wins that one for the Czech Republic. Kubalik will send this in. First Lickens will play it away from Kovash. Kept in at the right point by Hronik. Tried to get it back to Kovash, intercepted. And Zyle will control and play it around. Taken and cleared by Malinskis. On its center. Roberts Bukart sends it deep. Ronick lays it around the boards. Rippick was rating for it. Never got to him as it was stopped by Rehards Bukarts. Backhander in tight by Ginsmeya. Rehards Bukarts chases this down. Tried to get it to the front of the net. Kabalik takes it away. And a line change for the Czech Republic. Cleared in low, and Jan Ruda starts back for Moravchik. He'll skate at the center. Moravchik dishes off, gets it back. Near side for Yashkin. And he was in tight, and he was nowhere near the net with that shot. Yashkin on it again, tied up with Freebergs. And the puck grabbed and taken out through center ice. And 
Desir Cows. This will send this down into the Czech Republic zone. Desir Cows races in after it. Former Toronto Marley for a brief time. Lugers plays it around the boards and now grabbed off by Morovchik. Lead pass, Yaskin cross ice. So Horna was waiting for it. And Merzlikens breaks it up. Good jolt there as Radko Guda stepped into the Zirkals. Maybe the puck was gone long enough. And this ends up in the Latvian bench. Maybe. What a rush by Moravchik. One man breakout. So Horna back to Moravchik. Now you're right, he jams Yaskin so far in front of him, he can't pull it back into the net area. And then the athleticism of Merzlikens. I don't know how their knees work like that because they're not supposed to. They're able to flex that one out and away on a broken play. Whereas Lickens played against Switzerland, played very well, stopped 34 of 36 for a 9-4-4 save percentage. Good in this game, but you love but the board check shot can't yes. go in in a game you're trying to win when you're playing a team that's as strong as the Czechs are. And that's the one that gave the Czech Republic the lead. Forward check in tight, Simone scores! Dominic Simone on a strange developing play that the Czech Republic capitalizes on. How close was this to offside? Very high flipper. Tough to handle for Sabalskis. Gets through his legs, but he's able to handle it. And then, what a feed on the spin around from, from Voracek. Michael Frohley, this is a tough play because you're worried about getting hit. You got to handle it clean. And it is very, very close to offside. <laughs> the Bobby Clark smile says, now I'll take it. And as Dominic Simon shovels it in the far side. Another good feed by Voracek. Well, in a game like this, you want your top guys to be very good. And that has been the case for the Dominic Simone line with Folik and Voracek. They've been very good for Milos Riha. Sharp angle try by Batana, kicked away. So a 5-2 lead, five straight goals for the Czech Republic after trailing 2 nothing after one. Indrasis, who opened the scoring in this game. Garzin's after it, he got the second goal. Rathman's and down again, thinking he got a high stick. Trying to make his way back to the bench, lost his footing and went down. And now will make his way to the Latvian bench. Moravchuk looking for Fox up. Freebergs breaks it up. Gagaris floats it ahead. Morenis goes in after it. Morenis get dumped on the play, and Moravchuk is going to get a penalty for taking Morenis down. And power play coming up for Latvia. Finland over Denmark. Kapo Kako has a goal and an assist, averaging 15 and a half minutes per game, and now has the Cy Young numbers. Six goals, <laughs> one assist for seven points. Take the Cy Young every, oh, every yes. year. 
to get paid to win the Cy Young. Tim carried in in Grasa, so the Latvians go to the power play. Freeburg's at the line. In for Andrasis. The shot, and that got blocked by Bartoshak. Sixth power play of the game for Latvia. Both their goals have come with the man advantage. Shot from Freeburg's. That got blocked, and it's clear down the ice. Jack Hughes, by the way, averaging 15 and a half minutes a game as well. No goals and no assists. He was robbed against Great Britain. Yes. He probably should have had one there, but... You know, some of that is. Capo Kako has played against Ben in the pro league. Jack Hughes had a really long year. He came off a dominant under-18 performance, but... It's gotten the, the scouts buzzing. And here's the penalty from Moravchik. Yeah, puts his stick into the feet of Morenis. But this is what Batna was so upset, because that is a high stick from Palat. Batna goes down, and he was... Hot, just look at him. Is he drop? That should be a four. That's a massive miss. Four minutes. And then you do can't go back and fix it, but it's a big miss in a game that's gotten away from Latvia. And a game where power plays have been so critical to the turning point of the of the game. Sabolskis plays that down on the far side. Power play continues for another 53 seconds. Bukarts. Sabolskis. Back for Bukarts. Desir Kals makes his way to the front of the net. Balinskis gets it back. Bukarts, the shot never got through. Zahorna had a stick lifted as he tried to clear it. And now Zahorna will get it to the line. And this cut out. Oh, no, it did not. Sabolskis passed down low, got deflected away. Comes back for Sabolskis. For Bukarts. Roberts Bukarts off the crossbar. Power play about to expire as Merzlikens slaps the stick. Kronik. Ahead for Moravchik. Moravchik back for Hronik. And the quick one-timer goes wide. And then Moravchik throws it to the net. And the left skate on the push-off of Merzlikens knocks the net off the peg. Bukart came close. Going short side on Bartoshak. Took a while to get some team plays going. They finally get one. Roberts Bukart steps in. Steele loses his blocking angle, and he beats the goaltender clean. <laughs> Bartoshek holds that pose for a while, even the puck's out the back door. Fraction of an inch for making it a two-goal game. Voracek wins this faceoff, but it will come back into the Czech Republic zone. Radko Gudis, Michael Froelich, Frolik being watched by Batna. In for Simone and now back for Voracek. Voracek jams it back to the line. Gudis takes the quick cross ice pass from Kolar and plays it down low. Battle in the corner, Voracek goes down, crowd reacts, play goes on. And taken by Rehard Bukharts. And in behind the play, Batna went down again and again. Barks at the official. Freebirds on for against Maya. Maya stopped at the line, and Freebirds will regroup for Sabalskis. In for Desir Kals, takes a bump but gets it deep. Barkashak plays it around, looking for Andre Pilat. Jammed up against the far side boards and now controlled. And Borovchik, who's had another strong game for the Czech Republic. Backdoor play, center to the near side. And that came off again. No fault of Merzlikens. He's just pushing post to post. Gonna fix those pegs. Pilat figures it was done intentionally. It's 5-2, Czech Republic.
Czech Republic right back at it tomorrow night against Italy, the first game tomorrow, Austria against Norway. You might think tough turnaround, you might think emotional letdown. Good news it is Italy, so they should be able to navigate that game. Italy still looking for its first goal of this championship. Kubalik back to the blue line, slap shot as Ripik unloaded and a good save made by Merzlikens. Again, kept in at the blue line and now sent out by Blugers, but this misfires on everyone and an icing call against Latvia. Jake Vorchek has played a big time game. And now there's a slew put attempt by Fulda, kicking into his feet once, knocking him down, and that's what Jake Vorchek is saying, and he's not wrong. That does happen more in a game than, you know, you see guys get in trouble, fine, or suspended for a putting opposition. It does happen along the wall in battles more frequently than people think. Now, it's most dangerous in open ice like that. Along the wall, not so much, because your legs are kind of up against the, the boards, and you'll likely just tip over. You won't get your feet caught underneath you, which is when you really get injured. So, not maybe as dirty as some people might think. Bob Hartley will be tired after this game. He has been working. Oh, working the officials, working his bench. By uh, any edge he can. Well, they looked at certain games that they they wanted to win. One of them was against Switzerland. Yep. They lost it 3-1. This was another one that they looked at. And they're trying to. The two teams closest to them in the world rankings. And Correct. In, and in caliber. Trying to close that gap. Cannons, his pass up the middle is intercepted. The Switzerland game was 3-1, but Switzerland did get the best of that game. Latvia has been in this one more than that one. Cannons will play this in. Next up, it doesn't get any easier for Latvia. They've got Russia on Saturday. Blugers plays this back at the line. Sabolskis back for Blugers and back for Sabolskis. His shot blocked. Is that deflects as Dmitry Yaskin got in front of it. Balinskis. Darzins and up for Blugers. Blugers to the line. Michael Froelich will play this back for Radko Gudis. He'll spin it back up for Michael Froelich. Back for Gudis and back for Froelich. Nice move to the inside by Froelich. Couple of nice moves. And now he'll circle back. Cross ice and Dimitri Askin plays it back for Froelich. Yashkin on this back end. All right, Polar back there. Cleared up on the right side now for Voracek. Froelich takes a bump in the corner. Bukarts skates the center, sends it in. Moravchik goes in after it. Tries to play it up the boards. Seven and a half left to go here in the third period and a five to two lead for the Czech Republic. Here's a chance for Bukarts on the spin of shot. And that never got through with a maze of players in front of Bartoshak. Moravchik now in a battle in the corner. As Batna tries to stay with him. Finland has defeated Denmark by a score of 3-1. Denmark so putting up a good fight. Yes. Finland rolling along nicely. The only loss coming to the Americans in overtime, courtesy of Dylan Larkin. You have to feel for Slovakia. Oh, so close. Twice. Oh. One second against Canada in regulation. 27 seconds against Germany in regulation. After a late goal tied it. In both cases, really. Yes, correct. Drana puts this out to center ice. David Musil plays this through. Radek Fox are going after it. He got squeezed out. Fox will turn and head to the bench. This is his first game of this championship. And the 
coming over from the Dallas Stars, and this goes up off the blocker of Bartoshak and out of play. The captain has been involved for the Czech Republic. Jake Voracek skating, shooting, which is not something he does that often, but collecting points is what he's very good at. One goal, two assists, and a dominant presence throughout. When he moves, he, he's sneaky big out there. And when he gets that big, whatever it is, 220 pound frame rolling around, he's tough to handle because he's a great skater. With that kind of weight, he's just gonna power through spaces and then the hands and vision to make the passes that go along with it. And a veteran of both the National Hockey League and international competition. Ripick in front, where's Lickens down, puck is loose. Comes back to the line for Radko Gudis. To the front of the net on the back door, Ripick tried to tap it in. Gudis, slap shot from Kovash, and that whistled wide. And now it gets turned over by Yashkin and Kennant. Skates to the line, crisscross is there with Gintz May up. Freebergs follows up on the play. Back for Kennant. And Radko Gudis will break it up. And the Czechs are jumping again. Cleared in, Hronik with the slap shot, that went wide. Or rather, Zahorna with the slapper from the right side. This carom's Too all the way around. And on that missed shot by Zahorna. Lapia to the power play, we come back. With 5.08 to go, and that's what the coach thinks of that call. Check. Too many matches, too many. So Jake Borachek over to have a chat with the referee. We saw what Milo Shriha, the coach of the Czech Republic, thought of the too many men on the ice call. And first looking to the bench for the extra attacker. Very aggressive. Five minutes on the clock. You need three. You have the good face-off man, which helps. Yep. It's Luger to get possession. And there's the face-off win, Sobolskis. And Grasis, back for Sobolskis for Darzins. Gets it to the goal line to Balsers and then gets it back. And Grasis. Plays it for Balsers. Maya and Bluger's in front. And Grasis has it again. Bartoshak left the near post rather early on that one, but... Back to the blue line for Sobolskis. And Darzins will take it, tease it up, lets it go, scores! Second of the game and third of the tournament for Loris Darzins. And all have come on the power play. And it's 5-3 with four and a half to go. Okay, 36 seconds, pretty short order. They get the one, they finally layer a screen. Ronick, that is a poor effort at blocking a shot. He is so far out of the shot lane. Darzins can just walk into this one. And Bartoshak can't see it with those two Latvian sweaters in front of him. That's a two goal, three point night for the captain and Darzins. And still four and a half on the clock. And we'll see if they can't get back out there and get the goalie out again. Paid to pull it on six on four. Yep, it worked. The extra guy. Presumably would be a bit the guy in front of the net. There would have been a one-man screen as opposed to a two. Probably doesn't go in. Long 
lead pass. Rehard's Bukart will deflect that in. And Mirabczyk is back for it. He'll flip a backhander to Michael Frolik. And Frolik will send this in. And now Bantla comes across and gets at it with Michael Frolik. Play allowed to continue. Bukart sends it down low. And the battle in behind is still going on. Frolik now will finally make his way to the bench. Maybe ill-advised by Batten in case they decided again to take one out of the pile. Indrasis sends this cross ice. And a bit of a miscommunication, but Latvia does come up with it as Balinskis and Balsers weren't sure who was going to take that. Balinskis gets it to the corner. Foxham plays it around, centered up front. And this will bounce all the way back down the ice. Vrana is after it. Vrana around the net. Jacob Vrana trying to get that for Kovash and picked off by Andrasis. Vrana's just got to take that to the net. He can get to the far post if he wanted it. Cross ice pass picked off under three now to go. And a 5 3 game Czech Republic leading. So after five straight goals by the Czech Republic, Latvia, who had a 2 0 lead after one, back on the scoreboard. Tracked down by Repic, takes it back into his own zone, and up for Simone. Repic has some room and he bobbled the puck. Now he lets it go and Merzlikens makes the save. That's batted out of midair by Kubalik and they're gonna say it was a high stick and we'll get a stoppage. Darzitz closed the gap to five on to three as the drifter from the point, layered screen. Head up, just find a way to get it down there. Verona helped him by sliding conveniently out of the way. And so, Latvia with three goals. Pretty good effort against the Czech Republic, who don't give up very much. Two against Sweden, two against Norway, three against Russia. Good defensive team. Over 9,000 in the building tonight. Great crowd, great atmosphere here tonight. Not we, we kind of highlighted this game as being a good one. That's not disappointed. Sobolskis is after it. Grolink is after him. Tied up on the far side boards is Moravchik. The big defenseman holds the line. And now this ends up in the Latvian bench. And 209 left. Latvia needs possession here and get the goalie out again. And have another push. Bob Hartley was very aggressive, pulling first Lickens with five minutes on the clock, heading to a power play. We got to get him out of the net next time they get in the offensive zone. Moravchik, who spent some time in the American Hockey League to start the year and then came back to the Czech Extra League, has been really good on the back end. Taking a couple penalties, but skates well for a big guy. Freeberg out of his own zone, the lead pass, and back to the bench for the extra attacker goes Elvis Merzlikens. Oh, Freeberg buried Gudis. That'll be a penalty if they get the puck back. Simone plays it in for Michael Frolik for Voracek into the empty net. And that should do it, and Gudis shaking up in behind the play. They're going to talk to Freeberg if they get a piece of him. They know it was him that hit Gudis, not whoever took a run at Voracek after the goal. Oh, we're not done yet. So emotions boiling over. And an empty netter by Borachek, his second of the hockey game, and that'll put this one away. Some words for the Latvian back. So here's Gudis, good clean hit on Darzins, but that, oh my goodness, Freebergs. That was going to be the penalty. But nice play by Simon. Get it to Frolik and then a finish. And then the fly by, no real harm there by Kennens. Everyone just feeling a little bit sensitive right now. Good sauce. Or the balls or Blugers barely touches Jake Borachek. Or is that not? Well, maybe the second push by Darzins, who's not feeling good about the hit, but. 
We'll see how this all straightens away. But either way, checks with a big win, led by their captain, Jake Warcheck, who is the best player in red tonight. So Czech Republic will go to three and one. And next up for them tomorrow against Italy is Radko Gudis gets a little attention at the bench. Down and in a vulnerable spot. Now people who watch a lot of NHL will say. So a major Freebirds. and a game misconduct for Freebirds. So that means he's done with this night. Perhaps they'll take a look at it next for next game as well. And it was. I mean, he was on his knees in an awful, very difficult spot. But you're right. Uh, but people around the NHL say, well, let's not feel too bad for Radko Gudis, who has not made a career out of him. He's a better player than that, but has, throughout his career, had many moments of taking advantage of guys in vulnerable spots. Bob Hartley with... It's not a smile, but... A wry grin about yes. how this one played out. Darzen's over to chat with the official. Judas, that neck is about as big as a street trunk. So I imagine he would be okay. This hit is fine. It's as yep. clean as can be. It's perfect. Yep. Beautiful hit. Doesn't feel good if you're Darzen, but this hit by Friedberg. Oh, my goodness. Right through. I mean, not only the neck, but the knee. The knee. Tucked under. Yes. Now, Gudis did get up and skate across on his own for all this pushing and shoving commenced at the end. At the end of it, Darzen gets a five. I think they will take that back when they reviewed this game. I don't think Darzen was the one they were thinking of. Right. It, it was Freeberg's 29. And that would warrant the five. Darzen took the hit, was lying on the ground. He didn't really do anything. That would warrant a five in a game. No, well now they've changed it to number 17, the Zero Cows, who will be in serving. Serving it. Yes, yes. for Freebirds. For Lake and Simone, the assist on the empty netter by Borachek. This gets played all the way around the boards. There's Borachek again holding it in. Now it gets cleared down the ice. And Stopped by Barnashak, and Jan Ruda will start up the ice, and now we're into the final minute. Rana Foxa into the slot. Rana with a quick shot. Really good right pad save made by Elvis Merzlikens. And Barabjic back for it. Kobosh to the line, dishes it off. Kolar plays it around the boards. Kolar will get it back. Right side for Hronik. Sends it for Kovash. Back for Kolar. Kolar will just circle back at the line for Hronik. It was Hronik's power play goal that made it a 2-1 game and got the Czech Republic going. Chases this back into his own zone. Kolar takes a look. Sends it on the right side for Kovash, his wrist shot. And that goes off a stick and over top the net. And now brought back in, and this one will come to an end as far as the 60 minutes are concerned. But <laughs> a bit of an interesting looking play, I'll put it that way, at the end there on that dump in. Kind of got all of this going. And Morenis is. Referee just got to split the pile, get Morenis and yep. Freebirds out of there. And now the Czech Republic players come off the bench. Which is dangerous. You should not let them do that. And Morenis will pick his stick up, and I think this will come to an end. 6 3, the final. Czech Republic. We'll go to three and one here at the World Championship in Bratislava.
from Raiffeisen Bank International, sponsor of the 2019 IIHF Ice Hockey World Championship. Ceny pre najlepších hráčov venovala Raiffeisen Bank International, sponsor majstrovstiev sveta v ľadovom hokeji IHF 2019. The prizes will be presented by Petr Fanta, Raiffeisen Bank representative, and Petr Nedviet, general manager of the Czech ice hockey national team and NHL legend. Ceny budú odovzdávať pán Petr Fanta, zastupca Raiffeisen Bank, a pán Petr Nedviet, generálny manažer českej hokejovej reprezentácie a bývalý dlhoročný hráč NHL. The best player of Team Latvia is number 10, Lauris Darzic. The best player of Team Czech Republic is number 93, Jakub Voracek. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments we will hear national anthem of winning team.
Jake, a big win by your team. You guys were down 2 nothing after one period of play. What was said in that locker room that changed the momentum for you? Well, uh, I think we moved pretty well. Just got scored on, you know, 5 on 3 and 5 on 4. And uh, we had a couple of opportunities. We had a really good power play in the first. So uh, we kind of knew we had to stick with it and kind of keep moving our feet. And that's what we did in the second. And that's why we took over the game. Merz Licken's proven he's been a very good goaltender, especially at this level. What did you guys have to do to beat him here tonight? It's been, uh, you know, it's, uh, after that, uh, four minutes of uh, power play, the 5 on 4. You know, it was really, you know, I started thinking if you're going to score again. And uh, you know, the first one was huge for us. And then after, we just keep kept skating, and keep pouring shots, and eventually those went in. This game got a little heated and rough at the end. Was that just a product of what was happening on the ice, or was it because this game was so important to both clubs? I think it's kind of both. Sometimes it happens, you know, I don't... Uh, sometimes it happens like that. It's, it's good for hockey, you know what I mean? I mean, there is no hard feelings after the game. We're just getting heated into, uh, during the game, and, uh, you know, everything bit, uh, everything uh, has been... Uh, all set on the ice, and uh, we just move on and get ready for tomorrow. And lastly, coming off that loss and the performance tonight, are you guys happy with how you uh, switch things up? Yeah, I think we played a pretty good hockey game. You know, power play was good, and uh, we just got to keep going. Congratulations. Thank you. Your team was up uh, two nothing after one period of play. What changed in that second period? Uh, I don't know. It's tough to say. I think we backed off a little too much. Obviously, that uh, didn't kill off that five minute penalty, and then they kind of got the momentum from there. And obviously, the crowd was great for them. And uh, yeah, we didn't capitalize on our power plays in the second, and they kind of backed off a bit too much. Moving forward, and these games get much more important. How important are specialty teams going to be for your club? Yeah, obviously they're huge. I mean, all our goals today were, I think, on the power play. So uh, we got to be able to kill those penalties off and, and hopefully not put ourselves in that position. And um, yeah, it's huge for us. Thank you very much.